she was released with the two young children, Aven and Yehel, um, with her mom, her aunt, her cousin, as part of a negotiated humanitarian pause on the 25th of November. It has been 50 days from their release, 50 very long days waiting for Tal. His parents are waiting for him. His brother and sisters are waiting for him. They can't continue with their life. They can't even start their healing process, their healing journey before he's back. A whole country, a whole nation is waiting for their return. We have a strong country. Israel is a strong country. Am Israel high and united. And we have hope. Please join us with prayers and intentions for the return of the hostages. We are just one family, but there are hundreds of hostages still held in captivity. So many families waiting. Please pray for the safe return of the hostages and all the soldiers. Thank you. A letter written by Shai Binyamin, daughter of Ron Binyamin, a cyclist. My name is Shai, and this is my sister, Gil. I'm here because my father is held hostage by Hamas. I'm here to stand for all the men that are still in captivity. Brothers, fathers, sons, grandfathers. They cannot be left behind. My dad, Ron Benjamin, went to ride his bike an hour drive from where we live an hour drive that turned into a hundred days of hell. On the cursed Saturday of the 7th of October at 6.30, my dad arrived at the bike ride meeting point next to Kibbutz Bailey. And even before he managed to un unload his bicycle from his car, a barrage of missiles were fired across the border from Gaza and the sirens went off. My father quickly decided not to stay in the area and started heading home to us. But on the way back, terrorist squad stopped him, took him hostage, and pulled him into the darkness of the channels in Gaza. For 57 days, he was considered missing, absent. We did not know what happened to him and we feared the dreadful, un dreadful knock on the door, the knock that will ruin our lives. But he is now confirmed kidnapped and held hostage by the terror organization Hamas. It has been a hundred days since my father was abducted. A hundred days that my dad is not being home. A hundred da days that he did not get a hug from him. A hundred days that I call and he does not pick up. A hundred days without our conversations that I miss so much. A hundred days without my best friend. With every day that passes, the anxiety grows, the fear for his faith and his, um, sorry, is unbearable and keep us awake. I can't help but constantly wonder about his whereabouts and well-being. Is he cold? Hungry? Sad? Where is he? What is going through his mind? I want him to know that we are worried and think about him every second of the day. He is in our heart all the time. Taking civilian hostages in a, is a war crime. He might not be a child, not an elderly, or a woman, but he is our dead. He is a human being. All men are still held hostages. My father's life 
is at greater risk with every second passing. Time is running out. We need to bring them all back home. Bring them home now. Bring them home now. Bring them home now. Bring them home now. Rachel Goldberg Pauline, Hirsch's mom, started this trend of putting a sticker with the amount of days that they've been kept hostages. I hope you all have one. If you don't, there are some on the tables. Please take a photo with the sticker, 100 days, and hashtag on your social media, bring them home now. Thank you.